It is a beautiful Friday afternoon. Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys ready to go? cars here like only one but <laughs> I guess it is you know Friday and it's still technically during the day it's not even one o'clock yet but I wanted them to get out of the house and run around a little bit it is a beautiful Friday afternoon happy Friday everybody uh, just starting my day well not just starting my day just starting my day outside but um, I was at home indoors on one of my couches, doing a lot of paperwork, trying to make flyers, trying to do my publication information, information publication. <laughs> I'm always messing it up. One day I'll, I'll have it like down packed. Um, but I decided, you know what? I can still some, do some research here in the park on my cell phone while the dogs get to just be free and relax. Um, I may come back later on today when there's actually dogs here because like I said, there is only one car, which means only one dog is here and I haven't even seen them yet. So I'm gonna try to walk with them a little bit to try to get them a little further so they see that, see that one dog. And we're just gonna relax for the day and um, I'm gonna go and have dinner with my like, friends and the family. They're like my dad's age. I've known them for several years now and have some wine with them at their house. Just relax and uh, and then my dad gets back home tomorrow from his little mini weekend vacation at my aunt's house doing some construction. And that's about it. Hey guys. Trying to hide, I think my dogs just spotted me way back there. Oh my god! Alright, we're gonna duck because Freckles is gonna follow. Watch. <laughs> So the thing is with Freckles is when we come out to the park, Gizmo runs around, does his thing. I don't like to like to make sure that I can see my dogs. I let them free, like it's a dog park. Like I want them to run around, get tired. Well, Freckles does not do that. Freckles does not leave my side. She'll go far out a little bit, but if she doesn't see me, she won't leave. And then if I try to run away and hide behind bushes and trees just to get her to like forget I'm here so she can run around and be a dog, she doesn't. She's like, she hears me try to hide. She's always looking to make sure that I'm not hiding. It's a disaster. And so like right now, Gizmo is nowhere to be found and Freckles is right there. Like she just doesn't leave my side. And I just, I try everything. And like you guys just seen, I was able to actually walk pretty far from both of them, thankfully. Like that probably the farthest I've ever been. But then I looked up and I noticed they both spotted me and she came running for dear life. He didn't even follow her. I mean, he started coming towards me, but didn't actually finish. He just stopped and did his thing with the other dogs. So like she is, very trained and I and I wish that sometimes that she's not as trained for moments like this where she's able to just be free and be a dog but she is not she is literally right here <laughs> oh well we're back home uh, I stopped at Walmart because I had to get these like sleeves 
because um, with this new um, information publication mail with uh, my organization, I decided that I would like to, like if this goes for a really long time, like it doesn't just backfire and I end up not doing this any longer, it'd be nice to kind of look back at all of my information publication mail, like back to back. So since I printed out my first one, I'm gonna keep one and I'm going to just basically put it inside of here and then put it in a, you know, a binder, which I bought as well today for like 97 cents at Walmart. And I'm gonna just collect them. Uh, these are so slippery, I can't get them. Oh, I just want to be able to like do it all in one piece, but they're all, <laughs> they're all sliding everywhere. Okay, all right, hold up. I think I got a good amount there. Anyway, so I'm going to put two pages on each. So basically I'm gonna have the one sheet. I'm gonna put the sheet inside. Hopefully they're all the right size. I just thought this would be kind of a cool addition to what I'm doing. Once it goes inside. Yeah, so I'm gonna have it. So when you open up the book, you'll see my very, very first one. And then um, when the book is open, you get to look at it. When you flip it, I'll have another one on the other side so that I can put two in each one. And then go through them, you know, each month and then throughout the years. And then once I get past that year, of starting it, I'll like put like a divider that says 2019, 2020, 2000, whatever. Um, it's been a year since I've started the organization, but I only just now started this this month, like September of 2019. So I'll do September uh, 19 to 20 or 2020, and put a divider, and then 2020 to 2021 divider, and so on. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm also getting all these ready. I had to buy some uh, envelopes. I had the small ones, but I wanted to like fold them nicely, my little letters, uh, mail. So I got the bigger ones and I just put some stamps on them. And uh, I have to go pick up the actual like uh, prints. I had to order them from FedEx because I'm just, I think I'm really gonna just use up all of my dad's ink and I don't wanna do that. Anyway. So I'm just doing that right now. It's a huge mess of papers. It's basically like an office day. Uh, took the dogs to the park, so they got a little a little fun out. I got this at Walmart. I loved it that it was gold. I had no plans on doing anything with this or, or buying one of these. And then I seen it, I go, all right, I have to get this for the cancer event. And I'm go, I got these like bubble letters. I'm gonna write something easy about, you know, childhood cancer and then they're black and then i'm going to outline the black with uh gold like sparkly gluey stuff around it so I'm, I'm excited about that i might do that now if i have time i have two hours before i have to go to dinner um that's about 45 minutes away and yeah and that's all we're doing right now so this is what it looks like so far i decided to go with believe as the l is the ribbon um, and then I actually had it in the middle and I go, it just looks like it's so plain. And then I wanted to write some like sentences or something like give children more than four, meaning 4%, things like that. But then I, I, I didn't have like periods, or exclamation points. So I just needed something very simple. So I decided to go with always believe. So, um, I'm gluing, gluing these down. Cause I just found out, I thought these were 3d. They're not, they're just pieces of paper that were cut into letters and they only have a sticky part in the top. So um, that's not going to work. <laughs> so I'm basically just, you know, using Elmer's glue with my hair stuck to it. Nasty. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh my God. I can't. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Okay. I can't. This actually hurts my fingers really bad. I have such finger pain in holding this. But, I mean, it's not too shabby, right guys? And it's done. I decided to not outline this with gold 
and it stands out more instead of having so much gold. Love it. I look absolutely horrible, but whatever. I'm going to run to FedEx real quick and then I have to go to um, my, the, like the friend of family for some dinner. And uh, that's about it. I'm gonna take my dad's car. All right guys, you be good. My freckles. And then Gizmo was like, let's go. I'm coming with you. And I'm like, uh, no, you guys are not. All right. I think that's all I need. You guys already went to the bathroom. They are freaking out. And oh my gosh, guys, look at this. <laughs> my shoes are on backwards, which makes sense on why I tripped because they weren't feeling so correct. I was thinking that it's pretty late in the day. I mean, I know they can get here much later, but they've only done it once. And so I'm a little confused, but I haven't, oh gosh, I can't bend my arm right. They haven't delivered my supplies today. And it comes every other uh, Friday. And so like, I, they normally come earlier in the day, 12, one. They've only come once at like eight, 9 p.m. And it was like when I first started working with them. So everything was kind of discombobulated, but they haven't got here. So I'm hoping when I get home, there is a box waiting for me. Ooh, I look like a mess from all the windows being open and the wind and everything, but I just got, just parked um, at uh, the family friend's house and I'm going to eat on some food. We always order the same style food and that's Asian food. It's typically, yeah, Asian food. Sometimes we'll go out and we'll get like Thai, which is still Asian food, but like typically we get Chinese food and not Thai. But anyway, I'm gonna go in there and grub, grub, grub. Look at the flowers, they're so pretty. Yeah, they're, you know, it's Wow. It's getting near that overgrown time. Look at them. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're so pretty. We, we have taken over. So. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, cheers! cheers. It's really bright in here. Like I can't even get it to look decent. But my family, friends, the family, the whole shebang, we were talking about CBD oil. We were talking about it for I don't know 45 seconds, and I get this handed to me. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't even like develop a sentence, and I go. Like, you're giving this to me? And you know, like, holy crap. And as I'm still stunned, he gives me a second one. And I go, you gave me two. Now, they are really small milligrams, 300. 500 is what I had the one time, and it was barely enough. So this is not going to do anything, but it's good for, like, minor stuff. And as I'm walking out of the door tonight, he gives me... Pills. Now, I don't understand a pill form. I would think it'd be the same thing, 300, 250, 100, 1,000, whatever. It's five milligrams. I don't understand that. I'm going to look it up. But um, they're all brand new. It has the plastic over it. So I just got legit CBD oil and tablets, gel tablets. I'm just like, holy crap. Like, okay, the food was good. I am beyond full, like beyond full. And I'm home, I just got home. I'm going to change and relax because your girl is tired. Also on the way home, maybe about 15, 10 minutes ago, I received a phone call. I never answer calls I don't recognize, but I did, thankfully. And it's like, hey, I'm at your house. I'm delivering a package here from Option Care, which is my like home healthcare company and I go you do realize it's past 9 p.m right and he goes I didn't say that but he's like I'm here is this your house it's on the hill blah 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 I'm like, just leave it outside should I leave it outside just leave it outside 
So he leaves it outside, which is great. But the whole point is, it's past 9 p.m. Like, where have you been? Door, you see kitty cat on a, on my boxes. You gonna come inside? Are you gonna scratch hers? But yes, my boxes are just hanging out there at, you know, 9 p.m. You're not coming in? Okay. So, so, so tired. So, 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 so tired. Um, I'm so, so tired that I'm like 99% sure that I will not be editing and uploading this video tonight, which sucks. But, I mean, I may edit it because that's easy for me, but uploading takes time. You have to wait for it to upload and in my room I have really bad service and ugh, anyway um, today was it was a good day I don't know I had a, a short mini downfall where I kind of started feeling sad and depressed and I'm like in a sense like I'm like 35 almost and I don't really have anything to show for it relationship wise and it's just really depressing and sad and stuff like that I got over it really quick I completely forgot about it until just now so anyway I will talk to you guys next time okay good night